A CNN reporter is arrested live on air covering the ongoing protests in Minneapolis. Twitter slaps a notice on President Donald Trump's tweet saying it glorifies violence. And Taylor Swift is among those blasting Trump's social media post, promising to vote him out in November. Here are today's top stories. First, CNN reporter Omar Jimenez and his crew were arrested on live TV on Friday while covering the protests in Minnesota following the death of George Floyd, a black man while in police custody. THR's Neha Joy has more. In a CNN video of the arrest shown here, Jimenez is seen reporting on another arrest when he and his crew are approached by police. In the video, Jimenez is heard complying with police, asking them where they would like the crew to be moved. Put us, put us back where you want us. We are getting out of your way, so just let us know. Jimenez continuing his report with one police officer putting his hand on his arm is then informed by another officer that he is under arrest. You are under arrest. Okay. Do you mind oh, whoa, telling whoa, whoa, whoa. me why I'm under arrest, sir? The police then handcuff Jimenez and lead him away. He was arrested around 5 a.m. local time. Later Friday morning, CNN tweeted that Jimenez and his crew have been released. The network also reported that Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz told CNN Worldwide President Jeff Zucker that he deeply apologizes for what happened. This news comes as Trump's feud with Twitter is beginning to intensify. Twitter has placed a notice on Trump's tweet about the protests. Trump's tweet said, These thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd and I won't let that happen. Just spoke to Governor Tim Walz and told him that the military is with him all the way. Any difficulty and we will assume control, but when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Thank you. Twitter quickly placed a public interest notice on that tweet, saying the post violated the Twitter rules about glorifying violence. However, Twitter has determined that it may be in the public's interest for the tweet to remain accessible. And just a few hours later, Taylor Swift blasted Trump's tweet about the protests in Minnesota. Swift wrote on Twitter to her more than 86 million followers, after stoking the fires of white supremacy and racism your entire presidency, you have the nerve to feign moral superiority before threatening violence? When the looting starts, the shooting starts? We will vote you out in November, real Donald Trump. For more on all these stories and the latest news, go to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.